A while ago, we had a couple of deliveries to the house that used these pallets. I've had them sitting around and didn't know what to do with them until now. Kip K presents Summer Pallet Swing Bed. Because I live in Florida, the weather is beautiful most of the year, so I felt like a comfy outdoor swing bed was in order. The first step was to clean up these pallets a little bit. They can be somewhat rough because they take a beating. I removed some slats on one of the pallets just to make it look balanced and to give it more air. Removed the old nails and just hammered some in that I couldn't get out. I also replaced some bad pieces of wood with some better ones from the other pallet. Now, since I'm designing this for a full-size mattress, I measured the length out and I decided about 81 inches was right. That would leave some extra room on both ends. The width was already perfect. Now, you could use a handsaw to cut the wood, but that would be laborious and time-consuming. So, let's use power. I started making my cuts and finally got through the entire pallet, leaving just a small piece at the end that we'll discard. The pallet bed is now the right length and width, and it's coming into shape. So far, the only thing I've had to buy for this project is three eight-foot two-by-fours. I measured and made a mark at 85 inches and then cut all three two-by-fours to be 85 inches long. These 2x4s are going to provide needed support in three places, on both ends and right down the middle of our swing bed. They'll stick out a few inches at the head and the foot of the bed. I grabbed a handful of 3-inch plated and coated coarse deck screws that I'll be using for this next step. A pilot hole is always a good idea to prevent the wood from cracking, so I'll be drilling some holes before I put the screws to it. I drilled six pilot holes on each side and then put in six screws to tighten those 2x4s to the pallets. Now it's time for some 2-inch drywall screws. They'll do the trick for this next step. I ran a bunch of these screws through the pallet slats into the 2x4s and made sure everything was secure. Now it's time for a spade bit. This drills a hole and we're going to be using it on the end 2x4s and we'll be drilling holes through those to allow for our rope. And I decided to use a sanding block just to get off any rough edges or splinters. The pallet bed is almost done. Now all we need is some rope. I found a nice shady spot with a strong limb where I wanted to hang my swing bed. I looped my rope through one of the corner 2x4s and then tied a secure knot. Then it's just a matter of looping the rope over the limb and tying another knot on the other 2x4. Then I did the same for the foot of the bed and I made sure it was level and not too high off the ground so I could get on it. My summer pallet swing bed is done and it's kind of comfortable, but it's missing something. Yes, a mattress. So of course, it's Casper to the rescue, my favorite mattress. This is the second one I own. What I love about Casper is they give you 100 days to try out their amazing mattresses, and they deliver them to your door for free in a box. Now as a tech guy, I love the fact that these are obsessively engineered mattresses at a shockingly fair price. They're actually a hybrid mattress that combines premium latex foam with memory foam. It's amazing. These mattresses are made in the US and are priced way lower than any mattress you'll find in a store anywhere. So give Casper a try for 100 days. They'll deliver it to you free, and if for some reason you don't like it, they'll come and get it. Plus, you can save 50 bucks right now by going to casper.com slash kipk and using my promo code kipk. Okay, my mattress fit perfectly on my swing bed. Then I used a couple of zippered vinyl covers to protect this mattress from the elements. I actually put two on just to make sure the mattress doesn't get wet. And there you have it, my summer pallet swing bed. It's comfy. I hope you enjoyed this project. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.